Good morning. So I'm excited to bring you another ab workout today. It's going to be a standing ab workout. So pretty fun, something different, right? Give you a little variety here. So third ab class is going to be abs and shoulders because anytime we do this, we're going to use the hand weight or a weighted object and it's going to use our shoulders and our arms. So what you need for this class, if possible, is anything from a hand weight to, I don't know, some people have these around. This is a 10 pounder. I might actually use that a little bit because I don't have a 10 pound dumbbell at my house right now. So you're gonna probably want it to be eight, 10, 12, maybe even 15. Some of these you could do heavier. So before we start the timer, because what we're gonna do is eight different exercises, all but I think one of them are right side, left side. So you're gonna end up getting four sets It'll be two sets on each side, and we'll just alternate right side, left side, and then when the whistle blows, you guys know the drill, and we'll switch to the next exercise. So we're gonna only go through it once. It's gonna take us 23 minutes and 45 seconds once I start the timer. So if you feel like you wanted to do it again, you could get four rounds and just do it a second time. So you can do this class two times in a row and earn lots of gold stars. All right, so our warm-up. I just want you to do some nice, easy warm-up things here. So we're gonna do a knee pull right here. Good, just a nice, easy warm-up. No timer yet. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Good, switch it wide. Arms come out wide, knees pull out to the side. Good. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice work, good. Next one we're gonna do, it's just gonna be a shoulder one. I had to think, I lost my train of thought. Open and close, chest, shoulders, get them moving. Good, crisscross front. Good, four, three, two. Every time I move my arms, it changes the lighting. <laughs> That's too funny. And one. Good, here we go. Inhale up, exhale drop. Good, inhale up, other side. Nice, up. Warm up those obliques. Good, up and drop. I'm backing up a little. Good, take it up. Side, two more each side. Good, and one more time. And one, good. Last thing we're gonna do is just a nice, easy extension. So you're gonna put your weight on your, uh, center it on your front leg. Let's make that your left leg first. Good, inhale up, exhale down. So chest stays forward, we're just lifting and lowering, good. Up. Good, breathe through it, three more. Two. Good, other side, let's do this last set and then we're rolling. Up, and good. Chest forward, belly button in. It warms up our back, keeps our core active. Four, three, two, one more. Nice work, all right, game on. My timer's right next to my phone, so give me one second. Grab a quick drink if you need it. So we're gonna get a weighted object. I always say object, because I don't know what you have at your house. <laughs> Hopefully you have something. If you don't, be creative. All right, hold on. It just did not work, my password. Of course, timer's been pulled up this whole time. And when I need it, it didn't do what it wanted it to do. Okay, here we go. You're gonna hear the countdown. It's gonna give us 15 seconds, just because I gotta get back here. I've got to grab my weighted object. All right, I think I'm gonna do my 10. So it's a wood chop, feet are shoulder width. You're gonna start above right shoulder. Little squat, wood chop sweeps. We go down and across, bring it back up. So this one, arms are extended, so we're not super heavy. It's just one weight, the one I can go heavier. If you can go heavier, do it. Good, sweep it, bring it back up. Three seconds. Good, we're 
rest and you get our 10 second break. Right, remember, right side, left side. So you're gonna start about that. Left shoulder. Here we go. Good, you can, a little squat, bring it past that hip and leg. Back up, above that shoulder. Good. Turn your shoulders. Twist that middle. That core is working with the arms. Five. Good. One more on the other side. Get those obliques today. Here we go. Last set of these. drink right we're swinging it heart rate goes up just a little bit that's a good thing this has like a thousand different names this next one can be side bend side dips all right so feet are back at shoulder width nice and tall okay belly button in so keep your core strong side dip heavier weight okay opposite side you're leaning reaching down that leg don't let your shoulders come forward. Keep shoulders and chest over your hips. Reach it down. Small movement, big benefit. Outside obliques, our little muffin top, chicha. That's Argentinian for slang for muffin top, love handle. All those fun words. Yes, I had the privilege of working with a beautiful person from Argentina and she calls those chichas, so it sounds better, doesn't it? I always like that. All right, good, other side. So the weight holding is the what's gonna go down that leg, right? Opposite side, good. Keep it nice and strong. Sometimes these standing ones, they're kinda like, well, that's not so bad. And then tomorrow when you go to reach for something in the high cabinet or you turn your body, you're gonna go, oh, yeah. So they all kind of complement each other and compound it. It's just a nice add-in. It'll work on our back a little bit too, which is important. Good, switch it back. That second round coming on each side here. And then we get a lunge run with a little twist. So we'll add a little bit of legs in. Here we go. Come on. Right, you decide how heavy you go. If you have access to heavier weights, I'm doing a 15 you might be able to do heavier than even that. It's up to you. Go ahead and make it count, right? If this feels easy breezy, get your heavier. Nice. Heck yeah, we got that other side. One more and we're done with it. Good, this is just a great way to Mix up your app routine, give your body a little something different, keep it guessing. Here we go, one more set. This would be perfect after like a little cardio. If you wanted to do something and you weren't ready for like cardio and a full Wednesday circuit, you could do a cardio workout on your elliptical or go for a run or a walk and then come and do these. Or you could do Dante and I's cardio ones that we did that very first round of classes. Both of those are 30 minutes of all 
Cardi, uh, if you haven't done them, I highly recommend them. All right, get water. Our next one, lunge twist. Just make sure you have room in front of you, okay? I'm gonna give you a quick sneak preview. You still gotta breathe, okay? You're gonna hold the ends of that weight. Whatever foot steps forward, we're gonna stay on one side. You're gonna go left foot forward, twist to the left, step back in, forward, twist, back in. So all on the left, don't alternate. Then we're gonna do right side, left side, forward, twist, back in. If that bothers your knees to go up and down, or forward and back, sorry, I should say, stay here, hold your lunge, see if you can just hold and twist, okay? Nice work. Go ahead and get that other side. Here we go. Starting on that other side right there. Make sure you guys can see my legs. Go ahead, right foot forward, twist to the right. Back to that left side twist. Back in. Come on. Come on. Ooh, yesterday I taped that second strength workout. It was a good one. My legs are feeling it. So the strength. Workout number two is what you're looking for. It took like 48 minutes. It was really good though. A little bit of everything. Abs, arms, legs. Got it all. Good. Take the other side. Last set. Forward, twist, back up. Remember, if that bothers knees or you prefer, stay out here. Just twist. Up to you. We're almost there. Next one, might need to drop down to more like a eight or 10, okay? It's gonna be wide. Okay, so you're on that left side, pull, extend. Up to you, once you do a few, if you feel comfortable with shoulders, you can do your heavier. So you're out wide. Standing crunch, pull, Extend. Oh yeah, baby, the 15 is getting real. 10 seconds. Okay, so far this is the prize winner. I like it. Stay tuned, this will come back to a class near you in the community center. Here we go. Extend it together, come in and down, good. It's really hard to stay in the camera. I'm watching myself right on my phone. And I have to say, there are days that the struggle is real. There's a lot of me to fit in the camera. <laughs> see, you can't even see my arm at the top. Dad, eight, I just think it's funny. Oh yeah, I like these. Feeling them. Excellent. I got one more to say. They all just play off each other. Everything complements the next one. So by the time you get done, everything in those obliques have been worked multiple times. Good. Pull. Knees out wide. So instead of it being right in front of you, 
It's wide. Ten seconds. Right, if you're heavier, you're not gonna move as quick. If you're lighter, you might be going at a faster pace than me, that's fine. But 15 pounds isn't flying here, it's just gonna be strong and steady. So totally up to you which way you wanna do it. You're still getting benefit with the light, promise. Just make sure you're feeling it. Make it worth your while, come on. Come on, last set. Five seconds. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, windmills are next. My favorite. Here's how this one works. If you haven't done these with me yet. I'm gonna be doing a lunge stance. Some people can do windmills both legs straight. I'm gonna protect our back. I'm gonna have you go on a lunge. You're gonna bend your right knee. Hold your lunge. Weight's gonna go out with the left arm. Elbow out, straight from the shoulder. We're gonna lean and press. Good. So you wanna come almost into that, that triangle, right? Where I'm up here, arm extended up and down. Everything's lined up. So lean and then back down. Take your time. None of these are meant to be super fast. Woo! All right, they're starting to build on each other. Little side bends. I can feel them. Good. So the switch sides are going to turn and turn our left foot now. Come in that lunge stance. Hold it. You can put that hand on the inside of your leg to give your guide. Elbow wide, right? Rained out from the shoulder. Good. Press and down. So I did a back to back where we're going overhead. Your shoulders are probably like, why? But it's okay. They can handle it. Strong and steady, come on. Five seconds. Excellent. Back on that first side, come on. Lunge it, bend that knee, bring it out wide, right? So elbow, shoulder lined up. So when you go up, you're extending straight up, coming back to center every time. Good, lean. Ooh, yeah. Come on, eight seconds. Set and we're done with these. Get that leg set, hold your lunge. There we go. Lean into that. Come on, reach down that leg, extend that arm up with the weight here. Name, do this with a kettlebell if you have a heavier kettlebell. That's usually what I use in the fitness center. Five seconds. Next one. You can go lighter if you need to. I think I'm gonna try my 10, I might go heavier. Okay, we did it in warm up, now we're gonna add weight. So uh, left foot forward, okay? Here it goes, looks like this. Extend and down, so it's gonna work our back and our core, right? If you can go heavier, go heavier right here. So the leg and the arms lift together, back down. I'm using for my timer. Just went to some sort of Yahoo thing. Keep going. That's not good. But 
I'm gonna give this back. Oh, it's still working. It's an old phone that I don't use anymore, and so it's a little unnerving. It does some weird stuff. Okay, switch legs. Okay, right leg forward. Left leg extends with the arms lift. Take your time. Do it without weight too, but use the weight if you can. Shoulders, core, back. Come on, everything working together. Five. Woo, baby. One more each side. This is a good one. We're on round number six of eight. Okay, we're almost there. One more time each side. going extra credit oh it's still working it's your 30 seconds take a breather this is real life here you know could always be worse okay two more rounds okay all right what do we got okay here it comes still got 10 seconds I'm gonna show you you're gonna go up twist to the left Bring it back down. Up, twist to the left. So maybe switch to your lighter if you need to because we're going back to a front raise and we're twisting. So elbows can be bent a little bit, right? But we want to try to keep them extended. Twist and down. Breathe through it. Five seconds. One more. Oh yeah. If you're using heavier, your shoulders should be feeling the burn. Gonna make them strong. Come on. Here we go. Other side. Up. Twist. In. Down. Take your time. Lift. Twist. In. So that twist this chest level. Everything's okay. It's one thing to feel that muscle burn, it's another thing to feel pain, right? If something hurts, stop it and change it, okay? Eight seconds, you're done on that side. Because we're doing lots of reps with the rotation. Everything's getting tired at this point. Woo, good, you can hang. Oh, my shoulders are definitely gonna talk to me later. <laughs> it's been arm week. I think it's arm week after uh, yesterday and now today. Woo! Fifteen seconds. Nice. I'm 
this one to the other side. <laughs> Good. There it is. Excellent. Last. Good. All right, we're going high knee crunches. <laughs> you are totally going to be like cursing me later for the shoulders. All right, I'm turning the music up. Oh, shoot. I didn't even tell you what we were doing. Hop, high knee crunches. Here we go. Pull from the top. Knees right in the center. Pull. Shoulder to opposite hip, up to the same shoulder, and repeat. Come on, we are almost there. Minute 30. Told you it was going to be shoulders. No question. Let them rest. But your obliques are getting it good too, don't get me wrong. I just know whenever we add weight to abs like this, arms are going to feel it. Come on, high knee pull, high crunches. Good, the higher that knee, the bigger that crunch is, lower part of that core. Let those arms hang. It feels good. Let the weight stretch up. You got one more figure eight. Come on. Come on, finish it. Belly button in. Come on. Strong. All the way in. Ten seconds. Here it comes. Woo! You guys rock. All right, we're gonna do a couple quick stretches if you can stick around. That is 28 minutes total with my talking. Okay, relax. Best hands on your quads. Feet are shoulder width. Roll your back up. Standing cat stretch. Gonna exhale, lower that belly button. Lift your chest. And your chin. Stretch your back here. We worked out everything in the middle here. Good. Come on up. Feet stay shoulder width. Oh, lean and stretch. That other side. It's going to feel good. Stretch that out. Wide front of the shoulders. Ooh, bring it up overhead. A little yoga for you. Good. Relax, lower forward, drop your chin to your chest. Press it forward, neck and shoulders, upper back. and relax here. A few deep breaths. Good. Two more. One more. Woo. Yeah. You got it. All done. All right. Peace out. Have a great day. See you soon.